All right, budget daily series part six. This is the last episode. We've got a few little things to finish off. As you know from like the third episode, we put the R-line front on and we put the R-line sides on, but I never had an R-line rear. I got the lip. I got the extension. Um, this is like fiberglass from Poland or something. Shout out to my boy Jack Thompson for painting this for me because I really couldn't be bothered. Basically that's gonna go and replace this black bit. Okay, so now I've got to figure out how to separate the bottom bit and the top bit. And also these things. I don't know if you remember, they're black. The rest of the car, they're chrome. So off the bumper's off, I have, I have the chromes. Whilst I'm here, might as well swap them over. All right, I think I've figured it out. This is long and hurting my fingers. So let's time lapse it. Okay, <laughs> found a better way. Wait, watch. Yep. Yeah. Hold that. Separated. Violence is always the answer. All right, so whilst I'm here, I'll just whack these in. Easy. You can get fucked. Yeah. I have no idea how we're gonna make this work. Oh, yeah, that actually swaps in. All right, we got the technique. All right, so, that's the little tab. Pre-drill, and then I've got a little black self-tapper. I'll just do this with a screwdriver. Sense. I've got probably 20 tabs to do, so let's bash this out. I've got some more stuff to do to this. I've got to clean it first because I'm I'm covered in mud and I can't stand it. So yeah, we're gonna go clean that. But first, I wanna say thank you to BOTB for sponsoring this video. BOTB are a dream car competition company and they're now giving away two cars a week. And if you win a car, you also get 50 grand cash. So you get 50 grand cash and a sick car and 50 grand. But you get the car as well. There's 150 cars to pick from. You've literally got Dumb stuff, like anything. You got Lambos, you got my favorite car in the world, Aston Martin V8 Vantage, E30 M3s, R34 GTRs. There's like weird stuff like Fords if you're into that, I'm not. And they've even got a Heimer Grand Canyon crossover Maxi, which I have, I have to say I've had my arm for years. There's a link in the description. You've got to be 17 or over to enter, and that is it. Buy some tickets, they start from like £1.50. And also, if you do win a Lamborghini or something stupid and you can't afford to insure it, BOTB are sound and they will help you out with servicing and insurance for the first year. So, that's nice. My link is in the description. Click on that, buy some tickets, win a car, and that's that. Let's go clean this, because it is gross.
So, this is what it looks like with the uh, painted R-line rear. Looks way better. Oh yeah. So, just got a couple more things to fit. I got some spacers. I got rears and then fronts maybe. I might fit these. And then I got wind deflectors. I don't love how these look. They're quite chav, but they are actually quite functional. You know when you like open your window a little bit and then it's raining and the rain comes in? Yeah, yeah. This stops that. Oh, uh, it's that, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, which is like real handy. No way. I can't even remember what I ordered. 15 mil? 20 mil? Who knows? Pack of peanuts? Yeah. Hungry? So we've got extended bolts. <laughs> 15 mil. So basically, we're just gonna fit these and bring that out a little bit. They can get stuck on real bad if they're like, they got a bit of rust. You're gonna get rid of the rust there? Yeah. Right on. Done. Yeah, it's way better. It's flush as well, man. Huh? Looks really good. You gonna do the fronts? I didn't buy any for the fronts because I already had some, but I might just fit these little ones. They're not hub centric, but they're only little, so should be right. Bad. Looks good. Subtle. Cool. Happy with that. We'll get the uh, we'll get that one on, and then we'll do. <laughs> Drum bass. <laughs> so the drone bass will melt. Or country. Me and Al have been absolutely rinsing country music recently. If you know any good uh, country songs. Drop us your favorite country songs in the comment section. Yeah. And you'll win something. Come on, you fucker. Your backs as well? Yeah. Bang it. I take it back, you're not shabby, I'm sorry. Day, fucking pack it in. Do as you're told. There we go. The old BMW trick when you got spazzy window the mirror. They're in there. Done. That's everything I wanted to do. So when are you getting the new one? Well, I crashed this one. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as we're finished, there's nothing else to do. All the little bits tied up. Let's um, let's do some some art stuff. Make it look fancy. Cue the B-roll.
That was a very wet B-roll filming session. I got very wet and the car is now dirty, but we're back. We're gonna add up how much this all cost and go through everything and figure out how much I've spent. But first, we have a giveaway to do. What's in the box, you might be asking. So these are our pouch wallets. So I'm gonna give away one of these. They come in a nice little box. This is my wallet. So this is a green one with about 10 cards in it. Still pretty skinny. And they're like solid. <laughs> we've got green, we've got brown, we've got black. So if you wanna win one of these and some stickers and lanyard and stuff like that, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the budget daily. Let me know if you've enjoyed like the series format. I've never really done it before, like part one, two, three, four. So let me know if you like that. Comment what your favorite thing I did to it was. Um, just anything, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your day's going. I'll pick a winner for the pouch wallet or there's a link in the description. You can grab one down there. Um, this is the winner from last video. You won the orange windbreaker. Let's run through this and see how much I've spent. I got a little list. I went through an Excel spreadsheet and added up everything. So the Passat, the car itself was 1,350 pounds. It was up for 1,600, but then I blagged it because there was loads of stuff wrong with it and we got it for 1,350. And then we went through and fixed loads of the problems. So. We fixed the rear arm that was making the steering issue go all weird. That was 34.99. And then we had the door handle mech because the door handle wouldn't open. That was 39.99. Window switches because they wouldn't go up. They were 14 quid. Then we had the new rear bumper. That was 80 quid. Um, new rear wiper, nine pound 45. And that was pretty much everything fixed as of that point. And then we put the new head unit in, that was from China. And with import tax and conversion rate, that was 151 pounds, 44 pence. And then I put new number plates on because they look scabby. They were 11.99. Um, coilovers, 228 pound 99. And then we fitted the wheels. Oh no, actually wait, I broke a top mount doing that. So the top mount was 22 pound 46. The wheels I got off Facebook Marketplace, they were 300. Tires, 199 pounds, 38 pence. Oh, then it went into limp mode. Um, so we did the EGR delete and the remap, and that was 160. Then I bought the R-Line kit, the front and the sides, that was 150. Then it was missing a jacking cover, and that was 17 pound 50. It didn't come with the R-Line rear, the one I fitted today. That was 89 pound 99 pence. The wheel spaces were 38 quid. Window flexes were 29 pound 45, and then if we just call it 50 quid for like spray paint for the wheels, the bumpers and stuff like that. I've not included like servicing stuff or just maintenance stuff because that would just come with any cost of any car. So this is basically just to fix problems and to make it look how it looks now. So with that all added up, I think, I don't think I've missed anything. Um, that is 2,977 pound 62 pence. So that's not a bad price considering my last Passat was literally 2,900 pounds stock and that one sucked. And this one is auto, it's fast, it looks sick, and it does everything I want. It's got heated seats, it's got cruise control, everything my old one didn't, and it kind of just looks rude boy. Nearly three grand for the best daily in the world. I'm happy with that. The only thing left to do is I need to find a wing to sort this out, but that's not, it's very boring and not worth filming. So let's call it done. Budget Daily Series is done. This is the best car in the world. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this sort of format thing. I'll probably do another one in the future, but yeah, for now, I'm gonna drive this car pretty much every day because it's my daily and I love it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Drop us a comment down below and you'll win one of those wallets. And yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching and being my friends. Goodbye.